And they want to get those rushing yards up. And the yards per play also a concern at only four. Third and three. Franks nowhere to throw the football. And down he goes as Colby Wooden, that's getting the start today in place of Big Cat Bryant, makes the tackle for loss. It's fourth down. Tigers 40% on third down so far this season. Nick's in trouble, and down he goes. Cannot escape the pressure as it will be called a sack. It's Eric Gregory with his second of the season. Negates the longest run of the season instead. First and 15. Fake to Smith. Franks from the goal line throws past the 25, and it's caught by Mike Woods. Which is why they were able to win that game by double digits, but not last week. So instead, they go to the ground, and the Wildcat is J.J. Pagese. <laughs> 6'2", 300-pound freshman, bring him in to put some life into the offense. Downfield to pick up 11 yards. Now back to Nix, to Bigsby, and Tank is up near midfield, and here comes Auburn's offense with that type of style. What does Franks decide to do on a third and three? In trouble, and the pocket collapses again. Walker in there, the true freshman, Zykevius Walker. Fourth down, especially given all the rushing touchdowns that he had two years ago. He had six of them for the Gators. Caratan, it's blocked! And on the ground, the Tigers get it! Touchdown! Everybody, let's just do a redo here. <laughs> Referee Jason Autry is going to rest those pipes maybe for a play. And here's DJ Williams breaking it! Past the Arkansas secondary and inside the 40, Jerry Jacobs finally with the tackle of the sophomore. Anders Carlson is going to attempt this field goal from 47 yards, and it is good. With the ball at their own 20-yard line. And it's Bigsby staying on his feet. First down, Auburn. during this global pandemic as Tank Bigsby to the ground is past the 40-yard line, staying on his feet out of bounds near midfield. And Lauren Sisler, Bigsby most of the fans in attendance today are students. Bigsby has done a great job of forcing missed tackles and being decisive to the line of scrimmage. First time either team's been in the red zone, and Bo Nix cashes in at the goal line. Touchdown! A quiet day for Bo Nix as a rusher. Two carries. This time he said, you know what? It's time for me to get in on the action. Career game last Saturday night in Starkville, including a touchdown. Smith, first down run inside the 30 and cuts it back inside the 25. Arkansas is 0 for 5 on third down. This is third and goal from the four. Fake to Smith, over the top, touchdown, Mike Woods. for Arkansas in this game. Mike Woods, Chad Morris prize recruit. As they snap this one just outside the 30 and Nix has it and he is near midfield. To spark the offense a little bit, Traylon Smith with some nice carries. He'll drift back and air it out. One on one and it's caught down near the 30 yard line by Devian Warren. And on a second and four, fake to Smith, and now it's Warren to the end zone, touchdown. <laughs> Felipe Franks puts two consecutive drives together, game on. The Warren touchdown here. This is ninth catch of the year stint. He only had nine career catches before this season. Is he leading? Georgia at the half. Some nice short yardage and a goal line stop. Tank Bigsby with just over two minutes to go in the half. Breaks tackles. Gets a little bit of a block from Nix and is inside the 40-yard line. Meanwhile, Tank Bigsby's over 100 yards for the first time in his Auburn career. Nix wants to go to the air. Wide open is Seth Williams. 
stiff arm, first and goal Auburn. 20 to 12, Auburn Tigers. On a third and six, Nix is flushed out. First down run. For you got mossed, mossing somebody on the opposition. Nix under pressure, tries to get rid of it and does, and there, there's no whistle yet, now there is. Well, this is the 11th play of the drive for Auburn on a third down and 10. Nix thought about pumping but kept the football and got sacked. That's Hayden Henry by Felipe Franks. Second and nine, another inside handoff, and this surprises the Auburn defense. Traylon Smith, first down. See if that sparks this Arkansas possession. Again, it's Smith. And again, it's a big hole, and it's another first down. Wow, what a push. Third downs continue to plague the Razorback offense. Only two of eight. Smith makes it three of nine. Inside the 20. As he gets 26 more. Smith back in the game at tailback. Fake to him. Franks is going to have to throw it away. And now there's no receiver over there. And was Franks outside the pocket? I think he's going to drop a flag right here. Now Arkansas wants to rattle off a play. Smith, touchdown. The pass complete to number 22, Trenton Smith for the first down. And this guy has stepped up. They brought Owen Papo off the edge. Last possessions, they've got the momentum on their side. Second and 11, Nix has a wide open Schwartz. The pass complete to number one, Anthony Schwartz. Comfort zone, Cambo Nix, if he gets pressure, escape the pocket. They're in Carlson territory, but they want to keep the drive going. Third and six, Nix flushed out. And it's caught inside the 20-yard line by Schwartz. As he is six for six passing. But it's third and 10. And he throws a quick one to Schwartz. Schwartz has got daylight inside the five. Touchdown, Auburn. The Bulldogs pass completes to number one, Anthony Schwartz, for the Auburn touchdown. Trolling the middle of the defense. Franks on second and seven as a wide open receiver. And it's Blake Kern again into Auburn territory. Missed an extra point earlier in the game. This from 22 yards. Able to get this one down and up and through. Tonight. Franks to the end zone. Touchdown, Warren. You're talking about a drive where they're just taking coverage sacks, getting after the quarterback. He gets a clean pocket. He's not going down with that first defender. Hasn't been featured much in the last two drives, despite 129 yards rushing. On this play, it's Seth Williams. Finally with a big play. Look at that. Seth inside the 30. The pass completes number 18, Seth Williams. And he missed it. And Nix will just clock it. I, now, he, he dribbled the snap, picked it up, and then spiked it. It was a late whistle, but now a flag comes in. And this time, he barely sneaks it through. Carlson's given new life, and the Tigers are on top with seven ticks remaining. At best, on the Arkansas sideline. He striped that one. It kind of leaked late, like we saw in the previous attempt. And Auburn, late here in the second half. Game is over. For Lauren Sisler, 
and Matt Stinchcomb. I'm Taylor Zarzer, number 13. Auburn survives against the Arkansas Razorbacks. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.